Hi, I'm Patrick van der Meer, a visual coach, and this is about Visual Studio, the editor. Okay, not about coding, no. Well, partly of course, uh, because uh, coding is a big part of what you do, <laughs> otherwise you don't need uh, Visual Studio as well. But if you know your tool uh, better, if the tool does more of the things that you need as a programmer to have a, uh, like a nice working uh, uh, environment, uh, that's good. So, just released Visual Studio 2019, no, that's already old, but the version 16.40. Um, and they made a new button in the Visual Editor. Okay, and what does the button do? Well, it makes it possible to split the Visual Editor, the... Oh, <laughs> let's, not, let's not dock it. <laughs> uh, and the, uh, the uh, uh, XAML that belongs to it, and the code behind file, the CS file, the same. They, they, they're just separate windows. So now I can have them in three different monitors, actually. Two upright in portrait, and one, that would be this one, in uh, landscape. Actually, my monitors all can turn, so I can play with that. Um, so in this example, you can see uh, how it works. Uh, now uh, uh, I'm, I'm quicker. I only have to switch between the, the, the full windows. I can see the full text uh, in, in all the windows. And let's say I make a tap event uh, in a button or I change the button. Let's, let's first change this uh, and see visual coach. So I'm just putting in my company name. So now the button, button is called visual coach. And I need a tap event for that. Um, and when I double tap it, it immediately makes a the new event over here, and I can type right away. So in the different monitor, so I can see what actually happens when I change the XML code, as well in the code behind, as well in the visual editor. That's awesome. So how does it work in Visual Studio? So when you open Visual Studio, uh, and you open one of your files, let's say we take uh, this file, and I want to have uh, normally, uh, it's a change in the um, in the XAML designer. I can do it like this. Um, this is the normal window, but now when I click this little button over here, pop out XAML, then it pops out the XAML. So does it really change this other window? So I can just put them in, in here as well. Eh? Does it change this window? No, uh, it is actually only closing this window, so it's just resizing it. But it makes it now possible for me to, to put it all in different monitors and that's the fun thing of it. Remember that when you're editing with Visual Studio, this works of course not only for the XAML code but also for all the other code that you write and all the other interfaces. I'm not sure about forms but okay, you'll see. Have fun.